Mary, do you have a question? Good job, thank you. Hi, my name is Gigi Grant, and I am a new gym owner. This is our third season. And I actually have a, I wanna talk about impact. I know that learning our flaws as gym owners is kind of difficult sometimes. So you guys have been in the industry for years. How can you give me advice as a new gym owner on understanding what our actual flaws are and how do we self-reflect and build ourselves so we can be better leaders for our, our gym, our athletes, our coaches, and you know, my five kids? Uh, what, how do you guys look at your guys' flaws and say, you know what, I have a problem with time management. I'm Filipino, I'm late all the time. And so I'm really trying to set my clock back like 15 minutes. I'm still late, but 15 minutes less late. Um, but there's other things like organizational or, you know, there's other things that I know I have flaws on. How do you guys develop yourselves with your flaws and how do you develop them to get better? Okay. It's on? Uh, okay. Um, willingness. Willingness. You're, you're already 100% ahead of the game. Um, I think about the show The Prophet. You seen that before? Marcus Lamonis or whatever comes in and, and, and helps business owners. I'd say 50% of them are very obstinate to his changes. They, they have so much pride that they've built that company or it's their way that they're unwilling to change to a fault and they are in the position that they're in and he's trying to come and save their business. So I think your willingness to uh, even ask that question and, and have that on your heart is what will keep your head above water in all those situations um, because there's no one real answer for that. Something that I learned this weekend as kind of a slogan um, yesterday that helped me with all kinds of uh, facets of my life and, and should help you in this regard. You said, I'm bad at time management. Uh, I can't even spell time management. So um, the overriding theme yesterday was the answer is in the group. And if you're willing to tell your group and be vulnerable and transparent with everyone, uh, not always have to be the lion and let them know what can I get from you? What is your solution? Let's take it to like a choreography or a routine sense, you know. If I have all my ideas and I want to get them out there and then after the fact I ask them what their ideas are rather than asking them in the beginning, I probably missed out on a very powerful routine because it, it was so singular and I was wrapped up in my inability to have, you know, a good thoughts or, or in your case time management or whatever the case may be so be encouraged and 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 don't be fearful of, of feeling um, too weak by asking everybody their opinion and that's something that I did for a lot of years to a fault that I, I just was stuck on my way of doing it and thought I had thought it out the most but I was stuck in my own brain so again all those problems that you face just be willing to ask your staff ask the people ask the parents one of the biggest things we did uh, two or three years ago had some personnel issues and a very humbling experience to send out a questionnaire to 120 people about what they feel about our program and uh, got some pretty humbling answers and some very eye-opening answers and some people in, in, in big support where we gained like oh wow they really do enjoy being here uh, and then we found you know some other issues that we had to clear up so the answer was in the group the answer was in the group so thank you for teaching that to me this week hopefully that helps I'm gonna add uh, when I own my gym first of all let me just say a simple word and that is surround yourself with people who whose strengths are your flaws because then you can complement each other and you become a whole as a group uh, when I owned my gym, we had a weekly meeting, and that weekly meeting we, we taught one skill during that meeting uh, completely, and then we also talked about, okay, how did things go this week? What do we need to change? And it really was a group effort, but the main thing is surround yourself with people who have strengths that, that overcome your flaws. Um, I would say, just to piggyback on what Debbie and, and Jeff said is to, um, you know, one, evaluate everything. Um, you know, really evaluate everything you do because, you know, even when something is going good, you want to know why it's going good. 
you know. After you do a tryout, evaluate what we did well at that tryout, what we didn't do well at that tryout, so we can do better the next time. And then to, to a Debbie's point, is really just put together a good team because one thing that a leader has to be courageous enough to do is to sometimes be the dumbest person in the room. <laughs> you know, you have to put people in place that cover your weaknesses. I'm not the most organized person either. You know, uh, but I've I've tried to develop a team that covers that weakness for me, and and really it's a team effort. You know what I'm saying? So, and coming to places like this, coming to conferences like this, you know, <laughs> 22 years ago, I wish we'd have had stuff like this because I would have made a lot less mistakes. Um, because you know you, you have a lot more to pull from now but uh, I think you're already ahead just the fact that you understand that and you're willing to ask those questions so